Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recreating. So today we're going to be doing a review of Zyrax and Zork from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon line by NECA. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so these two figures are the latest NECA releases for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon line. Uh, these guys look freaking awesome. I when i first saw these guys these guys were a must-have for me and now that i have them my goodness they're freaking awesome anyways we'll get into the review and all that stuff in a little bit but before we get into any of the review i just want to give a quick shout out to david or aka bear grills or aka twisted tnmt from chc community uh, this community is one of the best communities that I've ever been a part of. It's just for collectors only and for collectors only and we're helping each other out. We're trying to get rid of all these scalpers and we're just trying to help true collectors trying to find figures for ourselves and helping each other out in that community. Really awesome community. If you're a scalper, don't even try it because we will call you out and we will find out you're a scalper. So don't even try to come in come into this community we're trying to get rid of all those scalpers and we're just trying to help collectors help collectors that's the whole point of it but big 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 thanks to the uh, bear grills or uh david i appreciate you buddy uh it was him that got these figures for me and shipped them out to me if it wasn't for him i wouldn't be doing this review so once again thank you david i appreciate you so much buddy all right so let's get into the review all right so we're gonna start off with the box of course all right and in this box we have our usual package for the teenage mutant ninja turtles cartoon line from NECA. uh you got your zarax and your zork pictures in the front from the cartoon series uh the ninja turtle logo right here and you notice that they're using the original logo now uh before it used to be like the more modern logo but now they're changing it back to the old school logo which is pretty cool um on the side here you got Zorox or Zork, I'm sorry, Zork, that's not Zork, the Zork. And the back you have your little picture of the two figures and then everything else in that line, which was a Triceratons, uh the Triceraton infantry with Road Kill Ronnies, two Road Kill Ronnies, Trag and Granitor, and then Ultimate Metalhead. So this is supposed to be Baxter and Splinter two pack, but uh, NECA decided to release those into 2021, so that's the reason why Metalhead's here. Uh, originally, it was supposed to come out on this line, but or on this wave, I should say, but it, I guess they decided to uh, move it to next year. So, anyways, now here you got your Zarax there, and this is your ordinary, um, your usual, I should say, not ordinary because this is a really freaking bo cool box. I, I love the these boxes and i love collecting these boxes and they look really cool lined up and someday i'll show you guys my collection of all these nice little boxes of course that boxes are empty i have all my figures displayed but the to this to display these boxes that in itself is art you know so anyways you know for the box let's get right into the figures so these two guys are by far the biggest figures that we got in on the NECA uh, line or the NECA wave of the cartoon series. Uh, these two are the biggest ones or the tallest ones, I should say. I guess that has to do with the frill, but um, it's, they still look really massive compared to all the other figures. Well, Bebop and Rocksteady look somewhat similar, but they, these are taller than Bebop and Rocksteady until we get the, uh, the Android uh, crank body then of course that guy is going to be taller from what i heard i haven't seen it in person but from what i heard he's going to be way taller than these two guys but anyway so far these are the tallest ones and they look amazing of course they used a lot of the they reused a lot of parts from bebop and rocksteady and we'll point those out in a little bit uh let me do a review of first uh zork uh zork and then we'll do zorak all right, so I love the color scheme on these guys. By the, by the way, I love the color scheme. The whole green looks really, really cool. Um, of course, like I said, these are all used, reused parts. The only difference, this is like Bebop's, Bebop's uh, uh, reused body. Uh, this is brand new because the feet are different than the Triceraton infantry figure because uh, they have these little uh, boots or little shoes or whatever you want to call them. 
uh, that's what they have here that's the only difference other than that everything else is exactly the same as far as the body goes the face sculpt looks the same as well the difference is the horns and the frill and then this one you could actually open his mouth on the triceraton infantry you couldn't open his mouth he just had a completely shut mouth you can't do anything with it so the difference also is just this little um i guess this is like a like a vest uh, it's just like a rubbery vest that goes over the body and you can see in there that it's a bebop uh, body if you ever put if you ever took the the vest off a of bebop it's the exact same body difference is there the braces are different and the hands are different because these guys have uh, only three fingers or two fingers and a thumb so that's the difference as well but other than that they used a lot of the parts which i i, I don't mind and I understand why NECA does it. Uh, they do try to save money. And if they save money, then we save money. Because if they, if NECA didn't save money and they didn't reuse the parts, then their figures would have been a lot more expensive than what they originally are. So it's a good thing that they use a lot of parts. And I, I personally don't mind it. I don't mind it. Uh, so anyways, as far as the tail goes, uh, the only thing too that I have to complain about is that they don't have these little spikes in their in their tails in the cartoon series, but I guess they had to reuse uh, the spikes from uh, Leatherhead. So this is the exact same tail as Leatherhead's tail. They just, of course, repainted the whole thing. But it is what it is. Once again, you know they have to save up money. But this guy looks amazing really cool so as far as articulation goes it goes like any other uh figure that you guys got from the ninja turtles because like i said they just reuse the bodies which is okay like i said um but there's the bend you guys could do all that yeah, pretty of course really really good articulation with NECA. uh it bends down this much of course you get it a little bit uh when i first got it this this like this thing gets in the way for me i don't know if this is supposed to be glued onto the bottom here to the shorts or this underwear i don't know i don't i don't know if it's supposed to be glued on there or i don't know what's going on there but it keeps riding up here and it keeps getting stuck underneath there which is a pain in the butt but it is what it is and um as far as bending it down all this gets crunched up together so it looks kind of funky but i mean i don't think you're ever gonna have the figure you know just being like that anyway so it doesn't really bother me so whatever it is what it is and this one his mouth opens like i said before and you can look up that much you can look down that much and then you could turn a little bit to the side but it does hinder this a little bit and then turn that much to the side but other than that I mean, he kicks out that much. There's bend in the knees, double jointed, and then it go. His feet go up, down to the sides, and yeah, you get your usual articulation on these figures from NECA, uh, which is really good articulation. But I really love these figures. I'm so glad I got them really cool figures these figures are a must-have they are a must-have i remember i actually remember these guys from the cartoon series even though they only came out once uh i do remember these figures and i thought they were really awesome i do remember the orange one the triceraton uh because of the action figure that we got as a kid that's the only reason why the orange one is more vivid in my head than these figures but i do remember these figures anyways let's get right into zorax all right, so this is RX. Like I said, these figures are use the exact same bodies. Uh, the only difference is this chest plate that is just molded from uh, like a, it's like a soft plastic, like a rubbery plastic almost. Uh, the same thing with this little skirt here. It doesn't go all the way up. That's all it goes. Uh, so they switched all that. They switched this and the bracelets. And this is the exact same boot exact same feet as this guy and then the horns are different on this dude they put the horns closer if you see the faces the faces are the same it's just that the horns they move 
they moved this guy's horns a little bit closer and they moved and then made these horns spikier compared to the other Triceraton. And then the frill, of course, it's a lot different. But other than that, it's uh, the face looks exactly the same. This one you could open his mouth as well, but it's pretty hard to get in there for some reason. It's harder to get into his mouth than it is to his mouth, but his mouth also opens. Articulation exactly the same. This guy could look, I think, a little bit higher up. This guy could look higher up than this dude for some reason. Yeah, it looks that way. So he looks up, he looks to the right, he looks to the left. Uh, articulation is the same. This kind of uh, hinders the movement a little bit, like like every other figure that has shoulder pads. Of course, the movement up and down it's going to be uh, hindered by it, so it's okay for that. And then the same thing with these guys. And then the tail, of course, is the same thing with the spikes. They're not supposed to have spikes, but it is what it is. I, I, I kind of feel like I want to cut it, but then I have to find a paint that matches this exactly the same in order for me to repaint it and all that stuff. But I might do it. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. But other than that, I mean, it's the exact same figure as this dude and the other Triceraton. So, but these guys, they look freaking awesome. I'm so glad I got these guys. Into accessories we go. So accessories, we get the same thing as we did with the other Triceraton, which is this bazooka thing. The only difference is that that looks freaking cool. Like the way they painted that, it actually looks like there's a laser in there. It's really shiny. It's really bright. It looks really cool. It looks like it's almost glowing. Which is really, really awesome. I wish they did that with the other one. You get, uh, I think this is Rocksteady's gun. And then you get B-Box gun again. And then you get these little uh, arm spikes or these arm blades that go into him. You can switch them around. And you can have little blades on his hands. And that's it. That's it for accessories. We didn't really get much of accessories, but we do get a change of hands. Uh, we do get uh, fisted hands, so you could grab stuff or grab the guns, and then you could grab the bazooka with these. I don't want to really switch them out because I have no reason to switch them out. If you guys got the other Triceratons with the Ronnie Rokios, then you you got the same hands so you guys should know exactly what hands that you get but other than that we didn't get any other accessories than that um it would have been cool if they would have had a little tank you know a little tank that you could put together because they did have a tank and that's the way they were trying to uh, summon something from their planet into into the turtles planet um that would have been cool to have that but maybe i'm just asking too much for it i mean a little a little thing like that because if you guys saw the leather head and the um, the Leatherhead and uh, Slash's 2-pack, uh, we got a lot of accessories on those two figures. And uh, it would have been nice to get really cool accessories for these guys, but we didn't really get that much. I mean, I'm not really complaining that much because I could always uh, use these for Bebop and Rocksteady. Because these look like the original Bebop and Rocksteady uh, uh, weapons that they originally came out with. So I might just give this to Bebop and Rocksteady and then keep these for this guy. Or for this guy and then have these blades for this guy and that's basically it anyways guys that's gonna do this review um i hope you enjoyed this review if you did please don't forget to hit the thumbs up guys these guys are definitely worth grabbing if you can find them like i said my stores i literally hit up five different targets and none of them have it none of them have it none of them had the granitors none of them have anything i had to order uh granitors from other people or I had to get, uh, um, my wife works very, very far from my house. And so uh, when she drives home, there's a target next to her and that's the one she goes to. But that's like super, super far. She has to take the train to work. So uh, it's nowhere near our house. So anyways, so if you guys could find these guys, go ahead, get them, pick them up because they're freaking awesome. Do not pay scalper prices. Do not pay scalper prices. Just wait. I'm pretty sure you guys will get some sooner or later. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Because if you guys do, guess what? You guys will see me on the next one. Peace.